hey folks welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm going to build marble and stainless steel raised planters so this project is the longest retaining project i have ever made and it starts from back in 2017 when i start the work onto the ceramic and stainless steel coffee table and uh, i purchased these marble pieces quite cheap because most of them are broken so i decided why not to make a uh, planters out of these pieces so at that time i ripped these slabs to the required dimensions i needed and with the help of regular circular saw and diamond cutting blade i cut down these slabs to the required dimensions and uh, and now the time came to complete this build to the final stage so this is a multi-purpose cutting jig which is specially made to cut these kind of heavy pieces and uh, if you wanted to see how you can build this click on the upper right corner after this video so in the 3d sketchup model you can clearly see how this thing actually came out and currently i am working on this top section which is completely made out of these marble slabs and uh, first I cut down the bottom section and then I cut down to longer section and with the leftover material I cut down the final width of the planters in build like these it is extremely necessary to make a sketch so that you can make an exact utilization of your material once the marble pieces are cut down i started the work onto the main frame and that going to be built with the stainless steel here i am using ss202 although i recommend to use ss304 since it is going to be placed outside So once the deburring has been completed I started the work on to the frame which is going to hold the marble box so that's why I made some mark and uh, cut down the excess material so that the pieces can be fitted together to make a perfect frame so there are total of two planters I'm going to build and uh, each planter consists of two different angle frame one having one and a half inch angle which is going to be at the bottom and the one inch angle frame is going to be fitted onto the top and uh, the main reason for making two frame is to provide enough strength to the marble box so that it will hold its shape without any trouble So once the welding onto the frame has been completed I started the work onto the main base which is going to be the leg of the planters and this is going to raise the planter around one and a half feet from the ground. So in the sketcher file you can clearly see how this base is going to be welded together. So initially I made some tack welds so that all the pieces came together and once I satisfied with the result I am going to made a complete weld with stitch welding technique one thing you have to take care of that is stick welding is not ideal for stainless steel having this much thickness so if you don't have a TIG welding then make sure to do some test on a scrap piece
at some place the frame is going out of square so that's why I need to use these bar clamps and they are very helpful in situations like that and if you wanted to make bar clamps for your own then make sure to check the video description and also there is a card in the upper right corner once the bottom leg are connected together I made a mark onto the angle frame so that I can tack weld them together and uh, once they are tack welded I made complete weld if you are still watching this video it would be great if you like the video as well that would be really helpful in ranking this video up and show your support towards the channel also So once the weld on the mainframe has been completed, I started the work onto the decorative pieces and for that I cut down 1 inch square tubing at 45 degrees so that by welding them together I am able to make a square. Install the decorative square I need to weld a piece onto the top portion so that square section can be welded with the main frame and for that I cut down this bar and weld it in between the legs and then I measure the required length cut down the pieces and welded them to the square and welded them to the main frame so in the sketchup design you can clearly see how these pieces came together onto the corner I get a quite nice weld bead so instead of grinding them I decided to clean off that blackening with some pickling agent and I kept it for uh, around five minutes and then clean up the excess with the rag and later on I complete the buffing of the frame if you kept that pickling agent for a longer time that will end it up in a corroded surface so it's better to use it wisely then my brother cut down 
triangular section which are going to be installed on those square pieces he also cut down some marble for the bottom portion as well and all the pieces are joined together with two power epoxy since it's quite cold that's why i needed to use that blowtorch to liquefy the epoxy but once it cures it is ready for the final finishing To protect the marble surface from the scratch I decided to use these end caps and they are quite helpful in dragging the planter as well. So now it's time to join those marble pieces together and for that I am using this two part epoxy. This is actually a specialized epoxy which is built for these kind of work and it is also waterproof so I mix both of them according to the weight and mix them thoroughly and then spread it onto the marble surface so that i am able to join the pieces together and make the joint watertight as well so that water will not leaking out through this box since it's a slow setting epoxy so that's why it take around six hours to cure but once it cure it become rock solid Then we spread the epoxy around the edges by making sure that water will not leaking out of this box. Once the epoxy cure they are ready for the final welds and I am using the same one and a half inch angle to join the top and the bottom portion together and uh, to minimize that fillet inside that angle i need to chamfer the edges a little bit and that i do off camera and then i tack well all the corner pieces together and after that make the complete well grind them buff them and they are ready to install the plants build like these took a lot of time and effort to make and i would really appreciate if you subscribe and like the video and also don't forget to hit the notification bell because i am not fixed to the uploading schedule because sometimes it took a lot more time than i usually thinking of so that's why i am always remain out of the schedule so it would be great if you hit that bell icon so that you will be notified when i am uploading my next video if you really like this video and new to my channel then i highly recommend to go to my channel to see my past projects i bet that you will definitely like them as well till then have a great day